Hi, this is Alfauzia Nihar from At Home Tuition. Welcome to our session. The topic that we are going to discuss in today's video is method 4 in finding the equation of circle that passes through three given points. So far we saw three methods to find the equation of a circle when three points are given. Now fourth method. Here is where we will be using the important well-known theorem converse of angle in semicircle. In this method we will find slopes and use one point formula. Finally we will use diameter form to find the equation of a circle. Let us get into the video. We use uh, let me take one example. Before that I would like to give you the equation of a circle in diameter form. So this could be applied when two pairs of the endpoints for the diameter are given. Let me take one example and explain you. Here is the example question. Let me draw the figure for this one. Here is the figure PQR and let this be L1 and this be line L2. Step 1. Find the slope for the PQ and PR. These are the PQ points. Plug in the XY values. So we will get minus 5 minus 4. So minus 9. Negative 3. Negative negative is positive 6. So plus 3 in the denominator. Negative over positive will give you a negative answer. So I am getting slope for PQ is negative 3. Same way let us find the slope for PR. Plug in the XY values so we will get so negative 4 on the top row 2 plus 6 so 8. Negative 4 over 8 can be reduced into a negative 1 over 2. So this is the slope for the PR chord. Now uh, let us see that from the figure you can understand that L1 is perpendicular to PQ and the line L2 is perpendicular to PR. Let L1, the point that uh, the lines L1 and L2 meet at is yes. So now let's find the slope for the lines L1 and L2. We know that how do we find the perpendicular slope? It is nothing but the negative inverse. Perpendicular slope of PQ is negative inverse of negative 3 which is nothing but 1 over 3. Perpendicular slope of the chord PR is negative inverse of negative half. So it would be negative times negative 2 which is positive 2. Hope you are clear over the slopes now. Now let us find the equation for the line L1 and equation for the line L2 by using the point gradient form which is nothing but one point formula. This is the one point formula. We are going to plug in the point P and perpendicular slope of PR in this formula. So we will get slope is 1 over 3. Now let me expand this by multiplying the equation throughout by 3 so that I can get rid of the denominator and get a very simple equation. Distribute it and multiply the common factor and distribute 1. Subtract 3y from both these sides. Subtract 3 from both these sides. Let me just swap the sides. So far we got the equation for the line L1. Hope you are clear with this step. Same way we can also find the equation for L2. In previous step we used Q and perpendicular slope of L1. Here we are going to use R and the perpendicular slope of L2. Let us plug these values in the one point formula. Distribute the number. Subtract Y from both these sides. Now you can shift the constant to the other side by adding 4 on both these sides. By swapping the sides we get let this be equation number 2. Now we are just going to solve equation number 1 and 2 and get the values for X and Y. Multiply equation 2 throughout by 3. Subtract these two equations. x minus 6x is y terms gets cancelled out. Same way 9 minus 9 is 0. Divide the equation throughout by negative 5. So our x value is 0 divided by any number will give you 0. Substitute this x value in equation number 1 or 2 to find the y value. Replace x by 0. Divide the equation throughout by negative 3. So y value would be. So we got the point yes. By solving the equations we got the point yes. Which is nothing but 0, negative 3. Once we find the value for yes. We, are, uh, we need to apply the theorem of converse of the angle in semicircle. We can see that P, Q, R, S are concyclic. With P, S as diameter. Am I right? So, we can obviously use diameter form to find the equation of circle. 
Since PS is the diameter of the circle, you can just use P and S in the diameter form to find the equation of circle. By plugging in P and S, I get this equation. Let me simplify it. Now combine the like terms and write them in order. And that's it for this problem. We got the equation of circle using diameter form. We just found the slopes and the perpendicular slopes. Then we use that in mid one point formula and we got two equations. We solve them to get the values for S. So after finding the P and S, the diameter of the circle, we just use diameter form to find the equation of a circle. Hope you are clear with method 4. Okay, now let us move on to method 5. Now let us see method 5 where we will be using the system of circle. We also uh, we will also be using diameter form of the circle but we are going to discuss the system of a circle that must pass through the points P and Q. Okay, let, uh, let me take the same question as an example. Let's find the equation of PQ using two point form. Plug in the PQ values in this formula. Now let us do the cross multiplication or and write the PQ in general form. We got the PQ in general form. Now let's use the diameter form to find the circle with PQ as diameter. Plug in PQ, perform foil, so we will get. Now simplify, so we got the circle with PQ as diameter. Now the system of circles must pass through the points P and Q. So the system of a circle passing through the intersection of the circle C and the line N can be a line L can be given as. I'm just going to use the equation C from step, step 2 and L from step 1 and plug in this system of circles. So this is the system of circle that passes through the points P and Q. Now we would like to find one of the circles in the system which passes through the point R. R is nothing but 2 comma 1. I'm going to substitute R value in C plus KL. That is the equation we got in step 3. So now we can find the value for k and plug in back in the equation we got in step 3. Replace all x by 2 and y by 1 because that is the coordinate for point r. Expand the exponents. Combine the like terms so we will get. Subtract 20 from both the sides so we will get. Dividing both the sides by 20 we will get. So we got one of the circles in this system that passes through the point r. So k equal to negative 1. I'm going to plug in this negative 1 in the c plus kl form. Distribute the negative sign for the second one. I mean the last parenthesis. So we will get combining the like terms. We get. So this is the equation of a circle that passes through r. Hope you are clear with this method. This method is very simple but a bit different from the previous methods. We will be using two point formula. Pick the two points to find the equation of PQ. Plug in all the values for P and Q in the two point formula and simplify to get the equation of PQ. Let this be equation number one. Next we are going to use the diameter form to find the circle with PQ as diameter. Here I have taken the diameter form of the circle formula and then plugging in the P and Q again to find the C equation. So let this be equation number two. Actually this process is simple but in case if you make any mistake uh, in step 2 it will be quite difficult because you have to be very clear with rules of sign to get the equation 1 and 2 and in 2 we are going to apply the foil so do not mess up with this step because many students make mistake in the signs here. Step 3 is nothing but the finding the system of a circle that passes through the intersection of the circle C and the line L. So equation for this one is C plus KL. Here we are going to substitute the equation 1 and 2 and then finally we have to plug in the value of R. I have plugged in the point R 2 comma 1 in the C plus KL and solve for the K value. So all these steps need some more concentration so that you will not make mistakes in the signs and the plugging in substitution. Here we are not using any system of equation. We are just using the system of circles here. So I got the k value. Once you get the k value, plug that in C plus KL and simplify the equation as much as possible. So that you should get only 5, five terms. x square, y square, x, y under constant. So this is the required equation of the circle for this method. 
Hope you are clear with method 4 and method 5. In case if you have any query, please let me know. Or in case if you want any topic as a video, you can let me know the request. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.